Think fast! Corbin here. Don't panic. But you are under attack. We are constantly being bombarded with a blizzard of sensory information. The light from the window. The smell of the person sitting beside you. The whirring of the AC in your ear. The feeling of your shirt collar touching your neck. Ugh! Now, you don't notice all of this, of course. Your brain habituates to constant stimuli. That is, it knows what information is irrelevant and just flat out ignores it. This is known as sensory adaptation. That is to say, there's a difference between what we sense and what we perceive. We perceive the world not exactly how it is, but rather how it's useful for us to perceive it. This disparity is the basis for all illusions. And though the word illusion comes from the Latin word meaning to play, illusions are a lot more than just games. They can teach us about our brains. Consider this. What do you hear? Ba, ba, ba. If you heard ba, 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 you'd be right. But what about now? Ba, ba, ba. Chances are you heard fa, fa, fa this time. And yet, the sound hasn't changed. Let's see that again. Concentrate first on the left side of the screen. Ba, ba, ba. Now, concentrate on the right side of the screen. Ba, ba, ba. This perceptual illusion is known as the McGurk effect. It occurs when the auditory information we're receiving conflicts with the visual information we're receiving. And since vision is largely considered to be our primary sense, it overrides audition. Meaning, we hear what we see. The really remarkable thing about this illusion? Even knowing how it works, you can't escape its effects. The McGurk effect is so ingrained into our brains that even researcher Lawrence Rosenblum from the University of California, Riverside, is tricked every time, and he studied it for 20 some odd years. There is some evidence, however, to suggest that the intensity of the effect can change. People of all languages rely on visual information when it comes to speech perception, but the intensity of the McGurk effect can change between languages. English, Spanish, Dutch, German, even Italian listeners all exhibit a strong McGurk effect, whereas Chinese and Japanese listeners exhibit a much weaker McGurk effect. Researchers have tried to attribute this difference to a variety of factors. Maybe it's a cultural practice of face avoidance, or maybe it's something more innate about the language's tone and syllabic structure. One thing for sure is, in noisy environments, when speech is unintelligible, people of all languages resort to visual information. And under these exact conditions, an equal McGurk effect is seen. So, do you still trust your ears? And furthermore, should you? If our perceived experience of the world doesn't accurately portray how it really is, can we trust any of it? And as always, thanks for watching and stay thoughtful.